Hi, and welcome to this lesson. There are two structure types that you need to be aware of for the exam. And those are tuples or tuples and objects. So let's have a look at them. They're both similar to two types of variables we've seen before. So we'll start with the tuple or the tuple. Variable, my tuple, type equal to tuple, and in curly braces, we then add what data types we'd like. Now this is where the tuple gets a bit interesting. The difference between a tuple and a list is that with a list, we had to explicitly say whether it was gonna hold strings or numbers. Whereas now with a tuple, what we can do is specify the data types we'd like inside the list. So it's almost identical to a list, except we can support multiple data types. So inside we could have string, number, and string. And when we set default, because we've got a string, we could say cat, then a number, one, and then another string, the dog. And again, that's the main advantage. It's not limited to only one data type. The next type of structure we need to be aware of is objects. Now, if you've worked with JSON before, it's exactly the same as that. It's a way we can structure multiple data types. So let's give it a bit more context. Variable, and we'll call it my object. Type equal to object. And inside the brackets, we use curly braces, just like we would if it was a map. They're both very similar, except we can specify multiple data types. So the name equal to string, and we'll say port equal to number. Or we could even set that to a list. So we could say list and we'll set that to number. Then what we need to do is set our default. And just like a map, we're gonna have name equal to, and I'm gonna use my name, so that'd be TJ. And port, we said, is a list. And it's of type number, so we could put some random ports in there. So we'll do SSH, SMTP, and we'll do HTTP. I'll include a link to the documentation for these if you want to learn more about them. Both tuples and objects are high level concepts. It's important to be aware of, especially for the exam. So make sure you understand the difference between tuple on an object and a map and a list. That wraps up this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.